Hey guys, VBAD here with another V Plays, and we're taking out the P-47N. I have reacquired this aircraft, um, because, you know, why, why not? It's an aircraft I've always liked, it's a neat looking plane, and it's the cooler looking of the P-47s, although the Bravo definitely is a workhorse. We get an extra four rockets on this, and their increased output on the damage and then we get the two 500 pound bombs as well i'm gonna f2 that i really want to see a ground attacker go over there at the very least and then i'm going to be heading over here to this garrison i don't want to be first in i'm gonna let that 109z kind of get ahead of us we got 850 cal machine guns they will definitely do some serious work and they can hurt these heavies fairly easily if I can get around I got the light fighters on my six I'm sure this guy is stalled out like I mentioned we can really knock out those guys pretty quick I'm gonna head straight over to their mine and try and do some interrupt work we definitely have the firepower to be able to help out and if I can nab that center structure right there that'll put him on the back foot Hoping to get there before they drop the bombs on it, though. Wondering where Captain Underpants is hanging out. I don't have demo expert on this. It's important to note. Going to be a bit of a hit. We'll see if this does anything. Nope, not quite. We missed, like, two things. Ah, eh, we tried. We tried. What can we say? Seriously, Underpants? You coming down here to rub it in? He's got some nasty tail gunners on him, so we'll have to keep an eye out. He gone. Killing ground attackers. This thing... Multi-rolls are meant to capture zones and then hold zones. So, going after ground attackers is actually part of our bread and butter here. Here we go. He's pretty much done. Yep. And we got some hit points to play with on these aircraft anyways, so... We really need to get that mine, boys. We really need to get it. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, like I said, we can tear up ground, at er, ground attackers, ground attackers and heavies, if the heavies decide that they're going to come down here. There we go. Takes a little bit of time for the shells to fly in. We're going to head back over to their mine, uh, because I feel like we can probably help defend the bomber in two ways. We have 850 cal machine guns, so we have a pretty decent fire chance. And additionally, we also have some air-to-ground munitions we can throw out there as well. So we can throw some rounds out at things like this AA site here, and we're just trying to take the guns out. There we go. Let's not eat too many trees here. Yep. Eight guns will definitely make short work of a lot of that stuff. Let's throw some rockets out here. Drop the bombs here. We still have two rockets left. And I just want to shoot out the smokestacks. We'll probably throw some rockets in there as well. Oh, <laughs> oh I ate it. All that work. Well, I guess the good news is they didn't quite get all of the site yet. So we can get our butts back over there. That is not the first time I have crashed tonight. That's embarrassing. We'll have to get back over there. Maybe we'll be reloaded by the time we get there. Oh. Good, our mine ticked over. I was really hoping our mine would tick over. Oh, we're getting graphics hitches. Hopefully the new graphics card will fix that. We will see.
Well, we're waiting for a reload anyways. There we go. We've lost the plant. Try to reclaim it as soon as possible. Yeah, we knew we lost it. Hold on. We are not the most maneuverable multi-roll at this tier, which means I really got to keep an eye out for things like well, a Yak 9U. But the Yak 9U doesn't have the same number of hit points or damage resistance, so not as worried about it. That's a human and an ME for 10. We do actually have the ability to catch up to that guy. Our bomber is an A26. I have high hopes. The zero, if I can catch him off guard, we should be able to knock him out in a single run. Nice job. Nice job, Siegfried. Mentioned it in the zero video, but he's up way too high, low, way too low in airspeed. You can just intercept. Super easy to do. That'll coax our ground attackers to go over there. That's pretty standard stuff. Go ahead and get him, Siegfried. It's always going to go by proximity. Whoever's closest to a target. So you got to be careful what you, who you tell to do what. Because you might end up sending your ally to do something stupid. Uh, 15 seconds till Squall. I'm going to go for an intercept on the bomber. Nope, nope. Intercept on the Yak-9U. I didn't want to be caught with him on my six. Oh, there's two. There's two of them. I don't want to have a Yak 9U on my butt. And then there's a Yak 9U on my butt. All right. Um, okay. We know who this is. We got a heavy on him. I'm going to be on him. Captain Underpants, dangerous dude, great bomber pilot. Okay, that's uh, two bombers out, two ground attackers out. So the mine should be relatively safe, and that should lock in a victory? Yeah? It was a close match. Very close match. Yeah, and that was mostly our key 61 turning over there. No, it was the A26. Bomb Squad did everything there. That was two good bomber pilots doing some really good work that secured that victory. I, I was just the plane that was crashing into the ground. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Every time I go for those smokestacks with the guns, I end up doing something stupid. I should have not been in, in as much of a rush. If I would have pulled back and reapproached from a different angle, I could have done much better. Oh, sweet. We picked up the supply crates from the event. Uh, this guy has no skills as well, so uh, he's a skillless pilot. But now I can actually put on... I'm going to put on Demo Expert because I'm going to use him as a ground attacker, like, for the most part. So uh, we were able to take out 10 aircraft, a bomber, three ground attackers, two heavies, two multi-rolls, that light fighter, and an air defense. Managed to get 320 capture points, and we did 16,000 damage towards ground targets. Uh, Bravo, I will talk to you in a second. He's been having a good time using team comms, so that's actually been helping him achieve a bunch of his objectives. But yeah, man, what a great job. Uh, this guy was, mm, air, he was, he was the one that was controlling the airfield the entire time. 15 ground targets. He also got 390 capture points. Yeah, 70,000 ground damage. I want to see what Bomb Squad was doing here. 71, 18. The major difference you'll see here, though, is he was taken out well actually he was taken out a lot of aa sites i just noticed there 390 capture points and he managed to take two mines and a garrison 
The best we did was the one garrison, theoretically. I'd like to think we helped out at the mine, even though we didn't actually capture it, but... Let's open up some crates. This is from the uh, current event that's going on. Green crates, they're... Ooh, got us uh, some equipment. Advanced bomb sites, some ammo I'm probably going to get rid of immediately. And polished skin in a hanger slot. Yes! Yes, that's what I wanted. That is awesome. That's always the pain because I was up to a fairly healthy amount of tokens. And aside from refits, the only other thing I spend it on is tokens. Or, uh hangar slots so i can keep bringing you guys these reviews we're up to 190 aircraft so i'm just reacquiring them like crazy but what a beautiful looking plane this p47 the uh, thunderbolt what a beautiful aircraft and like i said you get 10 of these five inch rockets they're the mark fours they're doing 11,000 damage and then 9,000 damage for the bombs with Demo Expert now. If we didn't have Demo Expert, we wouldn't be getting that. And when we're able to finally... Oh, wait. Guys. Oops. <laughs> we weren't flying a P-47N. We were flying a P-47D. What it, that was my maneuverability, my airspeed. What? What? Ah, oh. I <laughs> can't believe it. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Another relook at the P-47N. Not my best battle, but you know what? I think it's just a fair representation of a battle. Very average. And hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I'll catch you on the next one.